The heat is on. We are on the final track of the Queens and I had just lost. But that was my first try. Let's see what we can do on our next try in this playthrough of F0 Maximum Velocity. And the Firefield Warrior Circuit on the Expert level! And yeah, they play hardball on this level. And they cheat too. That's, I suspect that's a pretty much a big thing about what everyone doesn't like about this game. Is the cheapness of the uh, computer controlled opponents. But, okay, oh, come on. I got further than that, surely. Um, whoops, oh well that served me quite well actually, you know I've got a fair bit of my energy down and uh, I'm going to have to take this somewhere uh, to get my energy back up and you don't get a lot, I must say, right that's it. Possibly the worst time to actually boost ever, but we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, it's a bit thin here. Oh dear, I'm in third place. And anything can happen in the next half hour. Like, I could actually do quite well for it. Change, oops. Oh, good thing that I'm, uh, oops, no, 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 I was about to say, it was a good thing that I'm a bomb wasn't in the middle of the, the um, uh, skid zone, otherwise things would have really gone up, shit, well, bad leads. Oh, slow down, slow down, ah! Thing could still go horribly wrong, so I think I'm going to take this risk and see if I can surge up the pack, even with the uh, the energy as it is. In second place. Oh no, no, come on. No one needs to do things like that, man. Thank you. Anyways, I come in second. It's not first. It's not third. And certainly not ranked out. Ah, oh well, on the second try, I finally managed to kind of triumph a bit. So, that is pretty much every track in F0 maximum velocity right there. Well, let's listen to the rock music and rock away! Yeah! I don't know what actually, don't know what actually does on the microphone because sometimes it kind of vibrates because unfortunately I don't have a headset. I don't use a headset in all honesty. Because I'm not all that type of thing, but I might, I may get one, it depends on what happens. I'm thinking, actually, thinking about it, not quite sure that I'll get the next Xbox 360. Um, now that it's got Wi-Fi built in, and it's possibly a little bit more worth the money. And not to mention there are all sorts of um, shops that are on, uh, on there that I really would like to get, like, um, most of the cave ones, like, you know, um, Mushi Hema Summer Vitari and Death Smiles and that look. And apparently Radiant Silver Guns coming out on the on the Xbox Live Arcade, so ooh, I'd love me some of that. See what all the fuss is about and why the hell I have to pay 150 quid for the privilege. Although I've heard it's overrated, but I don't know, I'm not talking about that game, we're talking about F-Zero Maximum Velocity and now, after 
beating the Queen League on export and having unlocked even more cars as you are called Croc, that's what you want to call them, as you will see here. The Silver Thunder uh, Carl Craft that looks like a tank, really, um, is really fast, has a really, really fast boost, but in the last few seconds, um, barely turns, and, um, uh, but has an extreme body strength, um, uh, probably because of it, and the acceleration is really, really poor. Really, it's, you start off, it starts trudging along, trudge, trudge, trudge. Only if you actually manage not to bump into anything or into any cars or anything will you actually see the full benefit of this vehicle. In fact, once I haven't seen it, I don't necessarily know the specs of it, but it wouldn't surprise me if this is essentially the precursor to um, uh, the other special hidden vehicle for Jet Million. Hmm, right. Um, as it stands, I'm not going to use it because I'm not that good at it. I'm sticking with the Stingray because I know that. And I'm only going to do one. Um, uh, league, if I can. So basically, the confession is I have only ever beaten the master um, uh, difficulty about once with this very craft. So. Uh, we're just gonna have to see what happens here. Um, I'll probably end up cutting out a huge chunk of this video because um, essentially I'm just kind of playing through. Not necessarily to the end because to other people, the very end, the very, very end of this game is when you have essentially conquered all the eggs all tracks, all leagues, with all difficulty levels, with every single car available. There is about, still about, um, I would say about three to unlock. And one of them is a kind of special actually. But, um, for now, I will attempt the Master League. Um, and I'll show you the first one just to show you what it's like and to wonder, um, uh, to make you wonder what the hell is wrong with me and why, why do I like pain so much? Anyways. Put it this way, the original F-Zero had a Master League too, so it shouldn't be too hard, right? Right, we fly ahead, we're having no problem going round the bend, and dee dee and wait for that, whoa, whoa, yeah, oh, that is what you need to expect in the Master League. You've barely gone past the first thing and then you've already been flattened by everyone. Essentially, you have only enough drop speed and your racing skills to uh, keep you ahead. The reason why I always pick the Stingray for this is it has the big boost and it, it can serve you well for a while until your boost runs out and then you get no down again. Whoa! Another thing on, uh, on this level is, as well as the cars being a heck of a lot more nasty to you, and essentially mowing you down every opportunity they get, 
The, um, uh, the organisers of this martial league are also found it very comfy to actually drop a hulk of a lot more bombs on the road too. See what, see what I mean? Yeah, oh my god, get off! <laughs> they increase the rate of the bombs. They're all over the place. They might as well just scatter a whole bunch of mines in the world and be over and done with. You think it's over? <laughs> no. Oh no! That's pretty bad because one mistake. Oh, Jesus Christ. And it will literally be all over. So, you have to, whoa! Just about keep ahead. Somehow I got in second. Don't ask me how. I think sometimes I actually got in first and I can surprise myself with it. But, um, yeah. Essentially, pro tip. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you want to at least get past the master and the thing in the master um, uh, league, use a stingray. And then, and the other, and then once you actually got past one, I think there's another aircraft that gets in one. And they shouldn't use that. And get rid of it. Silver Thunder, um, I wouldn't advise that unless you really get really, really good at it. But, um, essentially, the more you master it, um, I suspect, the more you master it, then when you get to the ultimate vehicle, and they're able to master that too. And it would be unstoppable. Even on master level, I think. Mm. Anyways, I am going to uh, pause here right now. It's so sleepy. So hey! Oh, watching me um, fail and make a little track of this thing. So, uh, I'll give you in a couple of chicken I got in first. I do not believe it. As, as you can see, I lost the car because I think the last track, I, even though despite the fact that I had a decent head start and everything, and I was just about ahead, I ended up dropping to something like fifth place. And when I used the boost, I managed to get to fourth, but the third drive was so far away, I didn't even see where the finish line. And now I've almost done, like, almost the complete, well, not the opposite, but. Somehow I managed to stay ahead. Anyways, now welcome to the carnival of fail. Because I had enough trouble with this on standard mode. What makes you think the hell I'm even gonna manage very well here? The good thing about this craft is it has a fairly quick and uh, and fairly tolerable um uh, boost window. So it's kind of easier to boost in the there. Still up. Oh my god, here we go. Almost, almost always on the first um, uh, rounds of the air, you, they will ram you like silly and just get you to slow down. I'm in fifth place already. Nice. I'll be able to even get past the um, uh, pro tip. Slow down! Let go of the throttle and you'll be able to um, uh, drift. Actually, that's not true at all. What do we need? Six? Oh my god. Yikes. Oh yeah. When I said one more mistake, you pay the price. Oh, I'm paying the price here, apparently. I'm probably going to rank out in the next time now. Um, I'm the next one up. I'm paying fifth. But that's no good. That's no good. Do all out my way! Oh yeah, forget it. Oh well, uh, somehow I made it, I don't know how, but I'm ranking out. No, oh, well, two laps there, but I'm good that's going to do because I get to fifth. How am I going to do that? I don't know, all these cars get in the row. Yes, clear the bombs away from me, it's not, not slowing you down at all, is it? Ugh. Um, I will see you in the next video when hopefully um, uh, you'll see something special. Oh, smoke. <laughs> Anyways.